What is divinity? Have a masters of divinity? The Shekinah? The idea that we end up seeing a connection that comes forth within the very kingdom of God and then also understand that that foundation of heaven is set forth to give us the eternal victory and glory that cometh forth from Christ Jesus. That these are all interconnected and that there is actually, they have a teaching on this. We look towards the spirit and the way that each letter within creation connects to each other within a pillar of severity and mercy. And what we see is that all of these characteristics then therefore build forth that crown so that in anointing the very crown of God and taking forth the leadership that cometh with that, then we are joint heirs connected with Christ and therefore the anointed. As Christians, that's literally the meaning of it. As a Christian, you are called forth anointed. Well, if you are a king, if you are joint heirs with Christ Jesus, does it not call you for more? Do you not need to expand your wisdom, your knowledge, and understanding? But it's a continual pursuit. You see, all of us, we all need more wisdom, more knowledge, more understanding. We have to continue to build that day after day. And it is unending. Because of this, it is to say as though we have a vessel, and that vessel is filled up with the very Spirit of God. If I end up looking towards wisdom, well, that gives us everything else that we need. Solomon is the perfect example. But we end up seeing that with King Solomon himself, because of his wisdom, because of the knowledge and the instruction that he sought after, he was given power. He had a famous name in all the world. Why? Queen Sheba even came to see him. He ended up having the most beautiful, amazing wives, kingdom, palace, even the temple of God himself, because he sought after wisdom. Now, in understanding the importance of knowledge and wisdom, it actually shows forth how we need to be able to open up the educational institutions of this nation and all the world. Not only just education, but the religious institutions as well. Our churches, our cathedrals, and the businesses. When we end up having this, it actually opens up an ability to have prosperity flow forth back into the nation and then also back towards God. So that we can have that reciprocation of an understanding that Christ is therefore then building us up to give us that crown and all of the characteristics that are necessary for us to receive that kingdom. My blessing for you today is simple. It's really so simple. Jesus is Lord, and I want you to receive that eternal blessing, the unending knowledge that comes forth from the word of God, and for you to sow forth a new kingdom, kingdom of the heavens, a kingdom of grace, a kingdom of Christ Jesus. God bless. God bless America, and I'll see you.